Hi guys. So today I thought that I would film a video, something like a day in my planner sort of a video. So I've already had a really late start. So it's not going to be like an entire day from like exactly when I woke up, what I did and such. Um, but I will try to capture um, this point all the way up until, you know, like I finish planning for this day. So, um, so far what I've already done is um, I have been in the health and wellness journal this morning. Um, so for uh, those who are new, um, hi, first of all. Secondly, um, I have just been tracking my food uh, today. Today is the 13th. So I've already put in here that I ate um, breakfast, one banana, a small yogurt with granola. Um, what else did I eat? Um, one, one apple juice, ACV water, vitamin D3, prenatal pills. And um, so after that, I would do the mid-afternoon snack. Technically, it would be mid-morning, but like I said, I had a late start. So it'll just be the mid-afternoon snack followed by lunch, followed by dinner, and then uh, that will complete. Um, another thing that I did in here, um, uh, already is I kind of highlighted my moods. So this morning I added vitamin D3 to the tracker. Um, and this is why I always leave like a little bit of space so that if I have anything to add, I have, you know, space to add it. Um, the only thing that I didn't do is I didn't like block out the days that I wasn't taking vitamin D3. I just, just picked up a bottle. I'm supposed to be taking them because I'm severely vitamin D deficient. Um, and I've been told this several times that I need to take it, but the hard headed part in me just never listens. So, um, yeah. So there, I just block out um, you'll notice that when you flip through like my notebooks and stuff like that, so for instance, um, days like this, you'll see like these black lines and probably wonder like, what the hell, like, why are there black lines there? It's because I either messed up or I'm trying to like cover up something that I just don't want to see. And instead of like using a sticker or like white out, which I don't have anyway, I just use a black marker. Same thing for here. I just blocked out all the days that I wasn't taking vitamin D3. Um, and that seems to work perfectly for me. Um, so I've already like checked off what I've done today. I've already checked off like my mood. I've already done the sleep tracker so far. So nothing in here needs to be done. Now when I come back, um, obviously for the afternoon portion I will be tracking what I ate versus like what my mood is um in here and I'll do a flip of this probably soon but um in here um I have a appointment that was highlighted um I had scheduled an appointment for the 21st I needed to change it because me and my husband are sharing a car and he uses it a little bit more than me, so and he needs it more than I do. So um, I just had to reschedule an appointment. So what I did is I did reschedule it, but I didn't change it in my monthly, weekly section. So, um, so I guess I can do that on camera. But for this, um, I've been using like a day on two pages. So what I did for this little note here is I, um, or this little task, I copied a note saying rescheduled appointment for doctor by, um, I rescheduled the appointment for October 26th at 8 a.m. So same time, just different date um, for the nutrition center. So then I would then take this information and then plug it in wherever I need to uh, within my notebooks or within my planner. So for this, 
because I didn't change it in here, I will do just that. So if you remember, um, and also for those who's wondering why I just don't take the notebook out, if that makes it easier for me, uh, it's an inconvenience. It just takes more time because then I have to take it out and then put it back in. So I rock with it the way that it is, even if there is like a slight hump, uh, I don't really care. But anywho, um, so this is where the appointment is. It's on the 21st, and these stickers are vinyl stickers. They're the Sweet Kawaii design stickers. So these stickers are completely removable um, and repositional. So I just take it up from there and plop it down on the new day, which is October 26th. And voila. So now I have an appointment moved to the following week um, without even having to write like white out or anything like that. Um, I just want to see really quickly if I have. Okay, so I don't actually have the appointment written in my A5. Um, and I'll probably do that off camera. But uh, if anyone's wondering, I still use the A5, but I've been just backing up information from the A6 in there um, just to have like another place to put stuff. Um, I didn't track or I didn't check off that I took the prenatal today. So I did do that. Um... And let's see, uh, my husband has an exercise this week. So what I will do probably later when I'm planning at the end of the day is I will just block out a small space, uh, letting me know that he has an exercise on these days. Don't schedule anything. This week is like off limits. Um, I probably won't be able to use the car because he uses it for work. Um, we really do need to get another car, but we're in Germany. There's no telling where we're going from here. So I would just rather wait. Uh, and here I have it. I have that the appointment is on the 21st. Now, this is where whiteout would come in handy. However, I don't have whiteout. Um, so what I'm going to do is use a canceled sticker to kind of mark that, you know, this appointment was canceled. Um, I have a lot, a lot of stickers. For someone who started out with no stickers, I now have a lot of them. Um, so I am not upset about that at all because I like having them. Um, where is an appointment sticker? Or not an appointment sticker, but like a canceled sticker. Uh, at this point, um, I really do need to like organize stickers, if anything. I need to organize them and put them in like um, better positions than what they are right now, which is all over the place, all over the desk. Uh, and yeah, so um, I got a canceled sticker. So what I'm going to do is just plop that right over the alarm C appointment and I'm going to take a pink pen. Oh, I forgot. I took this pen out. I'm going to take a pink pen and I'm going to write appointment in here. So appointment at 8 a.m. nutrition. So that is that. Um, I think the other thing I might write in here also, like I said, my husband has an exercise this following week, so I can't really schedule anything. So I think what I'll use, and like this calendar, this situation, it's really a decorative calendar. I really don't do anything in it 
Uh, I won't be doing that for next year because I would like to use my actual calendars for something other than stickers. But um, yeah, in this book, I've just been using it that way. So I'm going to take a pink sticker, should take in purple, because that's his favorite color. And I'm going to put this here on the 18th. Now this is a Sunday start, so this is perfectly fine. And because I don't really have anything to schedule in the monthly, this works. Um, so what I'm going to do from there... And this time I'm going to take a purple marker. Um, I like to signify colors with people. So my husband's favorite color is purple. So this just lets me know it's my husband. Um, so husband has a training week. And that goes, that's going to go through the whole um, week. So another thing you can do if you don't want to like put an arrow like that, usually you can use like an arrow like this for like a week uh, sort of ordeal. I usually do on a week. You can also take a marker instead of just drawing a, a line through something, you can take a marker and you can draw like, you can put like a little dot if you want to signify that it's a specific date. So that's what I'm just doing here. Like it's going all the way through. So now I know that purple is my husband and it's going all the way through. Um, I have a weird way of remembering things and that's just one way that I can remember certain things. So again, um, I don't have anything else to kind of update. I will get the weather, but I'm using my phone to record right now. So it's like, I'll, I'll get it when I get it. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys a little bit later in the day. Okay, so I kind of wanted to show you guys how to uh, track your food through the My Fitness Pal app. So um, I said that I would share this part. Um, so this is the My Fitness Pal app. Um, lately, mine has been doing some stupid stuff like making me always hit this. But I also track with Samsung Health. Now, this tells me that I need to eat 1,730 calories. And uh -uh, I don't need to eat that. Um, so... For the most part, I would put in, so it has breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, exercise, and water. So this is pretty accurate as to what I ate. I ate one banana this morning, like I said, one apple juice that was eight ounces. If you have uh, been seeing in some of my photos, I have a bunch of little apple juices. They are good on vitamin C. So uh, I get a bunch of those in prenatal, the D3. I'm actually supposed to be taking a higher supplement, though I don't. It doesn't actually, although I'm able to input them into like my morning breakfast and lunch, it doesn't like tell me if it's like a nutrient or anything in there. It just, it, it just adds it in there. So um, what I'm about to do right now is I'm about to have lunch. So it's like, really it's like a mid-afternoon snack, but I'm just going to say lunch. So I will get this. Um, I will go in here and I'm going to eat grits. Um, so I have a problem with getting enough iron. Usually I would take this little scanner thing and scan it. Let's see if I can find it can scan it like that and then it will pop up and it will tell me how much to eat. So then um, after I have already scanned it in there, I will then hit, and let me just move this out the way. 
because it's in the way. Um, I will then hit OK and then it will add it in there. I'm also going to add in one fruit. Now, so these are basic foods that I already eat on a day to day basis. So I will add in fruit um, and that is going to be lunch. Now, if it says your sugar goal is to stay under 65 grams, I usually will delete the entry because that tells me that I probably had too much sugar for the day. So instead, because I already had a banana and yogurt, I will just eat the grits and then probably come back with another snack of some sort. Now, if I wanted to check where I've like like where my health is. Um, I go into Samsung Health. Uh, my steps suck, by the way. I'm a stay-at-home wife, so I need to be a little bit more active. Yesterday, I did jump rope, though, so very active there. Um, this doesn't actually count my glasses of water, and I'm going to have more water, so I count three. So I have to put in how much water I've had. It does track my food though for my fitness pal. So right now it has calculated lunch and uh, breakfast. So this gives me an idea of what I'm taking in during the day. So protein is low. I usually hit protein spot on. Um, by the end of the day, fiber is low. So I'm working on trying to get that up. Potassium is low. So I'm working on that. Vitamin A, I will hit. Vitamin C, I will hit by the end of the day. Calcium is a hit or miss for me because I'm not big on milk, cheese, um, and I struggle with getting greens in, so I'm working on it. Um, iron, uh, I need to be working on that. Saturated fats is good, and sodium is low. So as you can see, this is just, you know, um, pretty much like what I'm working on and what I'm trying to hit. So as you can see, like it's tracking everything that I do. Now, um, I do use my Samsung Health to track my workouts. So yesterday, for the most part, I've been doing circuit training. Yesterday, I did jump rope um, and stuff like that. But I will typically get in a workout for at least 30 minutes or so throughout the day. And yeah, I will go back and show you guys how I track um, what I just ate for lunch and my planner. Hi guys, so I'm back as promised. I said that I would show you um, how I just pretty much log food throughout the day. So I showed you how I scan it. So this is what it looks like. Here, I'll show you uh, this day, for example. So this is what it looks like when I'm writing down. Uh-oh, hold on. Wanted to make sure I didn't overcook something. So this is what it looks like um, when I'm logging food throughout the day. Uh, it's usually always breakfast um, with an equal. And then whatever I'm eating for the breakfast followed by like a snack, um, then lunch, and so on. So for today, I have breakfast, one banana, and so forth. So for like the mid-afternoon snack, I actually changed from the container of grits to the packet um, because they were just a little bit quicker to make. So, um, and I'm doing this one-handed. So for uh, the afternoon snack, I'm going to say... Um, grits oops grits and this was butter this is hard doing it with one hand butter um and bacon and then i will come back and do like an actual lunch because this is really small. So I didn't actually get any like fruit to go with it. I left this little space open because if I eat 
uh, more than one pack. Right now I just have one pack in there. These packs are counted as low and because I'm because I ate one, scanned another, um, it was high in iron, so it's, it's still in the green. So I can get my iron from eating these two packs. So that's pretty much what I do uh, in the health and wellness journal throughout uh, the day. Um, let's see. So this is all food. Um, that's sleep. So if I want to, I could check in with my mood at this current moment, but I'm still good. So I don't have anything else to check in with. Um, if I do, I will let you guys know. Bye.